There are times when a PCB designer needs to be able to shield objects or stitch ground polygons on all layers using vias. Having to do this manually would be a time-consuming chore. Fortunately, Altium has dedicated tools for this purpose. Let's start by looking at the conductor shielding tool. You might need this for high frequency signals to reduce the propagation of electromagnetic waves in the dielectric and to reduce crosstalk between adjacent lines. Let's create shielding for the RF in net. Go to the tools via stitching shielding menu and run the add shielding to net command. In the drop down list, select the net that we are going to add shielding to, then set the number of via rows, the step between rows, distance from via to conductor and distance between vias. The checkboxes are responsible for creating a polygon around the shielded net and a polygon cutout to maintain clearance. On the right side, you must adjust the parameters of the vias and be sure to select a net for them. After clicking OK, a polygon and vias are created around the specified net, shielding it. Vias created with this tool will have a special designation. If necessary, any of them can be selected and deleted. To edit the shielding, double-click on one of the shielding vias and select Via Shielding. In the Properties panel, you can view and edit the shielding properties. After editing, click Apply. If shielding needs to be created for several nets at once, they need to be selected. The most convenient way to do this is through the PCB panel with nets set in the drop-down and with the Select option enabled. Select the desired nets, then launch the shielding tool and check the Select Objects checkbox. When using the shielding tool, polygons can be omitted by unchecking the corresponding checkbox if a common polygon is planned in the future. Let's check the Add Clearance Cutout checkbox to clip the polygon back to just enclose the vias and click OK. So now we've created shielding for the selected nets and also created a polygon cutout, which will create a space in the polygon with the desired clearance. After shielding the required nets, polygons on all layers can be stitched with vias to reduce the overall ground inductance and to improve heat distribution and dissipation. The main requirement for stitching is the presence of primitives such as polygons, fills, or regions with the same net on adjacent layers. In the Tools Via Stitching Shielding menu, launch the Add Stitching to Net tool. Stitching can be created on the entire board, or you can tick and select a specific constraint area. When creating an area, use the Space and Shift Space keys to cycle through the placement modes. Press the right mouse button to finish defining the area. Next, we'll adjust the pitch of the vias and their arrangement. Below, you can set the default value of the clearance between the stitching vias and the primitives existing on the boards with the same net. You can also create a separate rule, which would allow you to create different constraints for different parts of the board using any number of criteria. Next, you'll need to adjust the sizes of the vias and set a net. Click OK and in the specified area, vias are created that stitch to not only polygons, but also primitives like fills and regions. The specified area can be edited if desired and the stitching will be rebuilt. These vias also have a special designation and if necessary any of them can be deleted. The parameters of any stitching can be accessed by double clicking on a via. After editing the parameters in the properties panel, click apply. You can create areas with different stitching parameters. For example, let's create another one with a smaller pitch to remove heat from a transistor. When many different stitching and shielding groups appear on the board, they can be easily found through the PCB panel using the Unions tab. We select the required group, as they can be easily found on the board, and you will be presented with some stitching or shielding options. Since the tools for stitching and shielding are likely to create numerous primitives, there are special tools for removing them, which are located in the Tools via Stitching Shielding menu. Select the Remove via Stitching command and click on a via of the group you want to delete. And there is a separate command for removal of shielding groups in the same menu. Via Stitching and Shielding tools will save you time on your design, and the ability to edit in flexible settings will help you apply these tools in just the way you want.